Hello and welcome to the back nine of the final round of the Dynamic Disc Open. We had a couple lead changes in the front nine and now we get into the hard holes. We've done with the birdie section. There's still some out there, but really it's anybody's game at this point. Yeah, it is definitely going to be a battle out there. Yeah, Holland's been playing super solid, but Haley, we've got Kristen Tatar in the mix from Chase Card. we got Missy Gannon playing super solid and Ella Hansen. We can't count her out. She's got the nope. biggest arm in the field. Yep, absolutely. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Macy Valdez, and we are Mad Diaz. <laughs> Look at all that green on the front. And Holland, hole five, that par was a spit out. Yes. So she was playing lights out. Lots of other green on the scorecard, not as much as what we're used to seeing. So maybe a little nerves in play here. Everyone's trying to get that dub. Um, the chase card playing super solid as well. Yeah, nobody's out of it yet. No. It's definitely a tight battle in the back. Not as really hard. So it's going to be a lot of clean golf. Mm hmm. We are on hole 10, par four, 585 feet. I really like this change from last year. They, the last year there was a short little basket, par three in that gap over there, but they combined it, hole 10 and 11. And I really like the change. You really just kind of want to make sure you hit the gap, land a little bit to the left so it opens up that hyzer into the green. There is OB left, but it's really hard to reach off the tee. And then the, really the OB comes into play in your second shot. Yeah, they give us lots of room to be aggressive here. It's a sweet change. Um, I'm glad they didn't pinch an OB in on the left side. Haley's still hugging that right side. Straight is the best way to play. Heiser is definitely the safer play, and it makes it a little tougher to get to the green, but yeah. it is there. Haley kind of getting caught up, but she made it far enough where she could definitely still get up and down for par. But Ella made it out to the left. They're kind of, this is where you're talking about how it's going to be hard to get up and down from Birdie over there because you're going to have those trees coming into play. Yeah, there's some guardian trees on the left side at the bottom of the hill. And then it's low ceiling and downhill and then back uphill. It's it's all in all a very tough Birdie hole. I think last year we only had, I mean, yesterday we only had four Birdies. Um, Holland, though, just throwing an absolutely filleted drive down the center right in the gap where you want to be to get that birdie look and she's doing what she's done all day today oh, that was looking so good oh my god that was perfect if you can swing it missing to the right of that v tree is great but she got an unfortunate bounce into the tree line she's just trying to get out past the line of trees now and get par at best yep that was such a good recovery yeah, shot. really good patent pending shot Haley also having to go to the patent pending. She's kind of next to where last year's basket is. Yep. Maybe circle two for last year's yeah. basket. She catches that tree and lands out in the open. She still has a hyzer and can get up and down to save par. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Such a low ceiling. Still does some work, though. She'll have a very long look from circle three. And this is like where an ideal drive would land. Really want to get past that thick old boy. <laughs> <laughs> she does that checks up just before Perfectly. it. Perfectly. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, that OB does come into play if you come in too hysery, but that was perfect speed control. Holland from her drive. Yeah, that is an incredible drive. Wow. Go, baby. That's how you birdie the hole. Uh huh? Inside the circle. Missy with a nice third shot as well. So Holland and Ella have a bet right now. Whoever wins their first Elite Series event um, gets to dye the other one's hair. I mentioned it earlier. But you can tell Holland really wants to dye Ella's hair right now. Like, I wonder what colors they're going to about dyeing. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever color you you get to choose. Oh, uh huh. And I wonder if that's like what's in Holland's head right now. Like, Ella would look great with purple hair. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, one. It's like purple hair, purple hair. <laughs> <laughs> what a great birdie from Holland. Only four on the day today too. Yep. And we got to watch. One of them, Deanne Carey, Emily Beach, and Caitlin Belty also getting it. Everyone else on our lead card just taking a par. And par is good on this hole. Mm -hmm. It's very tricky. The gap is, the drive is the most important on this hole. Yep. And it's still no easy up and down necessarily. I but hope they keep this hole. Me too. I think it's a great change. Me too. 
and the old yeah the old whole 10 and 11 were just kind of lackluster yeah and i like how this one's way more scorable than either of those holes while keeping the woods in play yeah a lot of separation on this hole mm -hmm. hole 11 another new one that they threw in in place and it's a nice simple hyzer on paper at 316 feet but once you get out here on the tee pad it is pretty steep uphill. There's also some low hanging tree branches and an OB line on the right. So you want to throw something really, really fast and overstable and let it finish at the very end. It's a really powerful shot to get to this green. Everyone on our lead card can definitely reach it, but a lot of circle two putts on the day from the FPO field. Yeah, it plays a lot farther than 316 and Holland making slight work of that shot. She's looking so solid and so confident. confident. Yeah, so comfy out there. And that needs to skip. She'll have a long putt. 64% mm -hmm. of the field got to circle one. I mean, circle two in regulation and only 30 to circle one. More than we've seen in days prior. Yeah. There wasn't really any wind on this hole either, if mm -hmm. I can remember. Oh. Wow. Sneaky. Hugging that left gap. Uh-huh. Into the bullseye almost. And Ella's thinking, I don't know, look great with green hair. <laughs> <laughs> Missy with a smooth shot. Thrasher up to the edge of circle one. Haley for a long look. A little jumper. That was so clean though. Mm -hmm. Her putting stroke is so fun to watch. Yes. Oh, Missy a little low as well. I think she is one of the best putting forms in the game. Oh yeah. Hollins is looking good, too. Yep. Look at that birdie. Not a lot of pars on her scorecard so far. No, <laughs> and she's stacking up green. Yep. Ella with the tap-in birdie as well. And I love how they're best friends, but they still, like, are competitive, and they want to beat each other. And, and I know that if, like, one wins or the other wins, they're still going to be there for each other, but they're they also be... really want to win, too. Yeah, they're so. fierce competitors while yep. being super supportive. Something that we have in disc golf that I feel like it can be a little bit rare in other sports, and I absolutely love yeah. it. Holland with a three-stroke lead right now. That is huge yep. in the FPO field right now, especially with this stack. Hole 12, par three, 353 feet. This one has some multiple gaps. You can go forehand flex down the middle or a backhand turnover, but then there's also like a backhand hyzer route to the right. There is OB that can come into play with well, with both forehand and backhand, but you really just got to keep it low here. There was some headwind, too, when we played this hole. Yep, a little headwind left to right. Oh. That wind is scary for that shot selection. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised she went that way, Ella. Especially with a three-stroke lead. And yeah. She's... She doesn't need to go super aggressive here. Yep. Wow. It's just absolutely how you draw it up on this yep. hole. Not a lot of people getting to circle one, 9% of the field getting to circle one in regulation on this. And that's, that's only five people. So. And I don't know if you can <laughs> see that. Whoa. Wow. What, what did that do? Wow. Haley just went past the basket where no one else can barely reach it. But that tree that's in the middle, it really comes into play because your disc is hyzering like right at that tree. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get low underneath it, you're going to smack in and have a long up shot. Missy, pushing that nice. OB line right. That's a great shot. Hopefully she doesn't have that guardian tree on the green. Holland, in the meantime, is going to have a little work ahead of her. That's going to need to hyze her or get past it. Come on. That'll okay. work. Got a putt. Mm -hmm. This is another Oof. elevated basket. It's longer than I yeah, thought. Yeah, me too. She's passed. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I was like, do you think she's trying to run this? Of course she is. She doesn't lay up. This is Haley King. I love that mindset. If Me I had too. as good a putt like her, I would do the <laughs> same. That was such a cool little floaty bid. Missy had some stuff to work around as well. Missy, another one who runs everything. Yep. Oh. Well, and unfortunately... And this I'm is one where you come into and you're like, I don't, how do I bogey this one? Yeah, but also it's so hard. It is true. There was only two birdies today. We thought, I was hoping Ella might be one of them, but Katrina Allen and Cy Ananda both getting it. Only two birdies. Wow. It's a really tricky hole. Mm -hmm. That's a great putt for Missy. 
Yeah, 36 percent of the field taking a bogey or worse. And like these putts, these comebackers look so easy for them, and they're, they're not, not easy. <laughs> <laughs> this basket is very high. Yes. Ella, clutch par yep. putt after having some struggles on the elevated basket in the front nine. Super strong mindset. Holland giving one back to the field. And it's really cool to see Holland trusting her disc. And I think it's our first year with Discraft. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to come out and see that if you have a good game, I feel like you can throw most discs. Yep, definitely. They all work really well. Don't tell our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> hole 13, a doozy of a hole. Maybe everyone's least favorite hole ever. Yeah. Um, it's a par three at 400 feet. It's not very friendly. There's an option to go down the uh, middle over OB the whole way, but if you miss short, you have to rethrow. So everybody's going to go around to the left hand side. You can throw a backhand like Ella is here. Roller. Oh, I forgot about the roller play. Oh, come on. Move, Hook people. Up. Move. Hook up. Move. <gasps> Artful. Artful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Those people got out of the, the Red Sea party. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. Ellen needs to go up there and just give everybody a high five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the first time we see someone go for it. Yes. Come on, Haley. Hey, hey she made it. Wow. By like four feet. Wow. Oh, my gosh. She's in the clear. Look, she still has some work ahead, but that's how this hole is. Hole 13 is like you're happy to get a three. It feels like a birdie. Yeah. Maybe a misparred hole. Missy with a really nice looking turnover shot. I saw someone put in the comments mm -hmm. that they, someone range find it with the elevation and everything and the basket played like 490 to get to. No. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I saw in the comments. That wouldn't surprise me. It feels like it's so far away. Yeah. Even I caddied for Calvin this afternoon and he even said, this is not one that I bank on getting to. Yeah. And he throws. Same tee pad, same basket. This is a really good spot to be for a forehand. Yes. Especially Holland's forehand. Lots of skip. Good roll. Wow. Nice. That was some nice little branch action. She took advantage of the good break. Missy, not a lot to work with behind yeah. this tree. Oh. Wow. Uh -huh. She threw a good sidearm yesterday. A little less power on this one, but not bad. This plate is the most difficult hole of the day. No surprise. Average at a full stroke over par. And... Ella has played this hole great yeah. the last two times we have seen her. She threw the roller yesterday, too, and it ended up in the exact same spot. Like, the fact that she can dial that in as much as she is is blowing my mind. And this is really the advantage of being able to throw over this OB. You have a way wide open shot. If you're pinched over there, it's those trees come to play, the low ceiling. But you have to have that just raw distance to be able to get over that. Yep. And, like, Missy has this shot for par. Yep. Ella threw an active premium genius on the roller for any of y'all wondering. Yep. Holland with a great par. Let's see. Birdie par. <laughs> no birdies on the day, obviously. 32% of the field taking the birdie par. Yeah, hardest hole in the course. Average to four. Mm -hmm. God. Well played by Ella. I could watch yep. her throw that all day. Me too. You know, everyone in the crowd's adrenaline is like pumping too right now. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and we're getting down to the stretch. These are the next holes that are coming up are the hardest holes yes. on the course. Mm -hmm. And it's got to feel nice by Holland to have a little two stroke lead yep. right now. But Haley and Ella are both not backing down. Kristen, Kristen in the mix as well. If you have Kristen on your tail too, that's. You know, they're all checking the scorecard. Yep. Hole 14, par five, 900 feet. This one really, there's OB left, OB right. You can play really two different fairways here if you want to. There's a backhand gap. You can go on the left side, or you can go more backhand turnover left side or forehand. And you really just kind of want to punch one out there and then get down as far as you can. And then towards the basket, there's an OB green. But really this one, you just want to pump it as far as you can out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to be throwing your third shot to the green, ideally. And an OB stroke early in this hole can be really difficult to save par. She just went hyzer around the tree. She's like, I'm not messing with any of these. <laughs> and usually I see people taking this route that Haley's taking yep. up these two trees, but she landed where most drives are landing around with the hyzer. <laughs> That's just insane power and spin. And that is a great shot by Haley way down there. 
Capella threw a DD3 that far. Wow. wow. That's flippy disc, right? Flippy distance driver. Know. Yeah. That's crazy. Holland, look at all these. Look at all these crushes on sidearms. It's so cool to watch. We just haven't had that in FPO for a while. Love to see people opting for that. Missy taking the route that most FPO players have taken in the past on this hole. We've played here at Country Club for years, and that is the, I would say, the most common play so far. Um, you do have to go up the right side, which is along people's backyards. Oh, actually. Oh, she's going turnover. She that needs to sit. Yeah, that needs to slow down. Sticky grass, sticky, sticky grass. grass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That grass was sticky. <laughs> Yeah, she. if you highs her out on that first shot, you kind of have to go left side. It's a little tricky with the low-hanging branches. Holland so far yep. down there. And that is ideal. The fact that she's almost in the shade on her second shot, most people are trying to just avoid that one guardian tree in the middle that she is 100 feet past. <laughs> Oh, oh my. my. Off of her disc. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Well, if that landed on her disc, you would have owed her a drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're throwing so far. I mean, look at Haley's drive. I, I, can't, I can't understand. She has to, like, play safe and throw it low because there's the OB comes into play in a way that no one else yeah. is thinking of. Luckily, she didn't skip to that tree, so she's not pinned, so she should have a... Pretty open. And she can see the basket from over there. Yep. Missy throwing over that out-of-bounds green to get to our green. Leaves it a little short. She'll have a downhill putt for birdie. Oh, I'm going backhand here. Nice and low. Oh. Wow. Her approaches are looking so effortless yes. today. Just a little blind from where they are. It's Might all about trusting your disc. Mm-hmm. Might be able to see the tip of the flag, but <laughs> they're just making it look so easy. They are making it look so easy. And it is not. <laughs> no. 33% of the field got a birdie on this one. These ladies are just like. Yeah, I remember up. watching someone today throw their backhand approach shot and actually hit the basket. <laughs> oh my gosh, who did that? I don't know. I think her name's Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Quick flex from the commentators. <laughs> oh, oh, I was going to say Missy flexing too. Such a nice putt. So much right side change. She'll have to settle for par. Great putt by Haley. Haley not backing down. Mm -mm. This whole round, she has been right there. Oh, no. my gosh. Two spit outs? Uh, uh. Oh, no. That's not okay. I can't even. That's not okay. That was a perfect putt. There's there's nothing you can do differently. Oh, my gosh. I wish the camera was on us right now. I am freaking out. I feel like there should be, like, a card vote. Like, okay. Okay, this one that counts. That one's in. Like, you're in cows <laughs> around. You know, you're yeah. like, oh, I got that. That one down counts. Yeah. Oh, oh, my, my God. God. That's just not. That's I don't want to say it's not fair because that sounds whiny. But really, that's just not okay. Yeah, no. Two strokes that she could have. And think about how much mental fatigue that takes. Yep. You're like, what more can I do? When you're playing that good. Yep. And now oh, one, one stroke. stroke. Oh. With And we're going to an island hole next. Like, or, or Sorry, we have one more before the island. but And Kristen Tatar and Haley are both only one back. And Ella's only one back of them. So it is really getting Men tight coming into the, the Your mental game has to be locked up right now if you're hauling. Yep. Thankfully, this holds a little bit of a breather at 355 downhill. It is a kind of a big island with a drop zone that you have to go to if you don't land safe. We had a little bit of wind here. Not anything too bad. Maybe they had no wind here at all. <laughs> but you just want to throw something out wide. It's, a, it's kind of a crush, though, and you want to try to get inside the circle because everyone's going to be birdieing on this lead card. Jeez. That stick was so funny. <laughs> hey, watch out. <laughs> I like this play. Aiming at that tree and letting it hyzer in just before it. Yep. Yep. And you can see how quickly that OB on the left hand side comes into play. If you have too much flare skip, it can very easily find that cart path. 
Hold on, I'll swing. Yeah, she puts it out way wide. Swing. Get a skip. Okay. Inside the circle. Mm-hmm. For some reason, it looks extra far, it though. It does. <laughs> My butt looks stretched out. Yeah. Missy, a little lower route, a little more linear. Come on. It's a little short, but she'll have a putt. This one's hard to get to without putting it really high in the air, which is a little scary. Yeah, I mean, it's 355, so it's a long hole. It looks downhill, but it really doesn't play that way. Yeah. Maybe like down and up. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh. gosh, I thought it banked off of that tree. <laughs> <laughs> Super wide straddle. All right, Holland. Oh my gosh. There we go. She says, I don't care. I'm still oh going to make them. Her mental game right now is just rock solid. I, I can't even Because you could easily be like, I don't even know what else I can do. Yeah. You know? She's still out there grinding. Ah, oh, oh, Ella. Man. Yeah, after two spit outs like that, that's when people c could fall apart. Yep. It's a good putt from Haley. Yep. Still only one back. Man. I hate to see Ella struggling on the green a little bit today. She's throwing her drives where she needs to. Yeah. She's had so many good shots today. We'll stay the same order. Oh, Kristen, Kristen dropping. dropping. A little. Hole 16 is really tough. Mm -hmm. It's one of those holes where it's like... It's a, it's a, it can be a round ruiner. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's 320 feet, but it plays farther than that. I don't know if it's just a mental thing or if it's just because there's water there, mm -hmm. but it's a really tricky hole. And then if you try to lay up, you can lay up to that right side, but then it brings into play you have to get up and down from that spot. Yep. So it's kind of scarier a, to lay up. Yeah, I think everyone on our lead car is going to go for it. A lot of mid-ranges being thrown from the oh. ladies on this card. Get in. Wow. Wow. That is such a clutch throw. At this point in time, to be top of the box and then just put it almost inside the bullseye is unreal. And this whole, like, makes you start sweating, even if you're not competing for the win. So <laughs> I don't even know. Holland Street. Right. Oh, just barely short. Come on. Maybe it's touching something. No. Yeah, Holland's kind of struggled on this specific tee shot all weekend. It's She has not been finding the island for whatever reason. I just, think it's because she can get there easily with a fairway, maybe too far. Yep. So she don't know if she needs to go mid or fairway. Ooh. Great shot. That. Yeah, that, that definitely could be it. She's trying to throw like a touch shot. Yeah. Because you can't just power. She can definitely go over that wall. Yep. Ella just going to ace run real quick. Missy with the thrasher. Heiser. <gasps> Not the tree. Not the tree. Oh. And that tree really comes into play. You're trying to throw a Heiser and Man. Yeah, this place is the second most difficult hole. And to have this on hole 16, I mean, it's a birdie or bogey kind of hole. Look at this drop zone, 90 feet. Oh. Wow. That was a good run. She's so good at those little, like, throw cuts. Yeah. Right, let's see if Missy can make it from here. We saw Cy do it in the first round. You know she's trying to. Oh. <laughs> do you see her little, like, head thing she did? She's drumming her brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ella for two. Come on. Oof. It's such a scary putt. There yes. it is. There we go. That's right when she huge. needs it. That is huge. Come on, Ella, flex on them. Yeah, play. show us some love. We want to see you get hyped. She's like, no, my mental game is solid. That was a right. good putt, mm -hmm. too. This could be it. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Me too. Haley was basically tapping two stroke swing there. Yes. So now Haley, is Haley winning by one? There's, yeah, there's only five birdies on the day, too. So like Haley just did something pretty incredible here. Yeah. Speechless. Look at her form. Yeah, Kristen took a four on that one as well. So that okay. got Holland and Kristen, and that puts Haley as our 
leader right now, lead change alert through hole 16. Wow. Hole 17 and 18 are birdieable. 17 is very gettable. You want to throw something. The drone flies the straight route, and you want to go straight and then pitch over um, on your third shot. But I like to kind of hug into the trees early, push that OB line that's on the right-hand side, and then you can throw just a pretty simple hyzer across. Well, really where the drone was flying, it's really a smash to get up there to be able to go across where it's likely to. I feel like if you cut it shorter, then you can... Yep. Have that easier hyzer into the green. Haley kind of getting caught up with some branches. She might still have something to work with there. It just kind of depends on how the trees line up. There's some low-hanging branches that can make it tough. But if you find a gap, she could still go for it. Uh, come on, skip. Mm. A little low, but she could also maybe. It really just depends on like where she, where landed. she landed. Yeah, we'll see what they have to work with. And the pitch up is not easy because mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're in a good spot. You see this Holland turning that disc towards the OB line. That is so that good. That is money. So good. Ka-ching. And that's kind of an answer, too, to Haley throwing one yep. into the trees. Like, Holland has an opportunity now that Haley may not have. Missy should be branches, in a good spot. Yeah. Okay, she's going for it. Kind of gapped. Oh, low hyzer. Oh, come on. Kind of the skip. Come on. Oh, how did she get over from there? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that's every bit of, what, 375? Yes, and that low is knowing ceiling? that she has to go for that. And, I mean, she was no more than six feet off the ground at any moment. Okay, Haley. Okay. Even Haley's not going for it, and she's crazy. She goes for everything. Where is she laying up to? Uh, you know, it doesn't quite matter over there. Like I, I think, think that's an easier layup, too. You're more committing to that longer shot than trying to feel like it's a little touchy and, baby and shot. And now she has, like, a little hyzer, hyzer yeah, yeah, to the green. Missy also laying up. Great play there. Yeah. Pushing that OB line in a way that only Missy Gannon can. Holland going for it here. Heck, yeah. Wide Come open. On. This is the ideal shot. Some branches, but it's looking looking good. Where did it go? I I don't Oh. It's gotta be safe. Okay, it has to be it safe. It has to be safe. We would know. Um the OB line comes up short right there, so you don't wanna fluff it. Maybe she caught that tree, maybe she's like underneath Drop the tree. Down. Yeah. Wow, look at Missy. Great. That's how you draw it up if you're laying up. Like that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. This is a really tricky shot from Haley because you like lay it up and you're like, I have to get up and down. It drops off behind the basket yep. a little too. That needs to get down. Oh, okay, a little bit of tester. tester. You got like a 29 footer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ella to get a bird here. Oh, what a second shot. Ella, way to clutch I up in that moment. Is it she two back or she yeah, one? Yeah, two. Okay. Two back from Haley, I believe. Holland needs this. Oh, a little low ceiling. Okay, so she was kind of close. She must have caught that tree. Yeah. And maybe nervy putt there. First time we haven't seen her draw metal. And Haley really needs to capitalize on this. Oh my wow. gosh, that is so clutch. And that was so smooth. It looked like she wasn't nervous at all. Oh no. It was just like she was putting in her backyard. The, yeah, the rhythm was perfect. Look, just looking calm, cool, and collected. Classic Haley. And Haley has been this, in this position before. Yep. And Holland is kind of newer to this. Yep, she's, she's and, been But in she's the holding hunt. her own, though. She looks very confident. So does Ella. They all look like they're... They're feeling good. Yep. They're, they're feeling good. They've been there, done that. We know Big Money Missy <laughs> has <laughs> been on this stage a bunch. Okay, so we're still, um, still things can happen. Yeah. Um, we For had, any of them. Yeah, we had some eagles on 18 yesterday. Yep. Haley's got a one-stroke lead, but everybody uh, on that card can reach this yep. hole for eagles. So we got OB on the left side. OB on the right side. It is a par four, but... Like, like Masson said, there it can be eagles on this hole. I think we saw Ella yesterday put it inside the bullseye. And yeah, Colin I feel had like, a putt. I feel like if you're any of them, you have to go for the eagle here to yeah. put yourself in position. Yeah, you're going to have to play aggressive. 
And it's very, it's 417, so it's a far shot. So, like, you think, do, is Haley wondering if they're going for I it? I think or Haley's just, just going for it anyways. I think she just wants to make sure that she's up there. And look at this And drive. that is incredible. Wow. That is a sit. Oh, oh my God. Roll oh. out of the OB <laughs> into the inbounds. Barely in. And okay. that is a tricky putt. And also look at the pressure, though, that she's got to be putting on them right now. Yeah. She's on the green. To be able to go that far past the basket and be nervous and shaking. I mean, let's see what this is doing here. Wow. Wow. God. Oh and closer than Haley. And she's two strokes back, so that was really close from Ella. So what's Holland thinking right now? Like, does she feel she's pressure? Like, I have to go she, for it. I bet she already knew they were both going to do it. I think she's it. feeling pumped. She's like, okay, I just saw them do it. I can do it. She's Let's like, go. I did it yesterday. I know what I need to do to correct it. Yep. Yeah, she did she go out of bounds in the water yesterday? She did, yeah. yeah she okay. turned a little too much. But she almost saved the uh, the birdie from yep. being out of bounds in the water in circle two. She definitely has a distance. Let's go, Holland. Come on. Here she goes. It that looks going. so good. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. Bullseye? Unbelievable. This is I have chills. I have chills. Oh bullseye. I mean an absolutely flawless. And like flight. I just said like five seconds ago, she has not been in this position before, but to come out here and just have nerves of steel and to be able to park a par four. Four hundred and seventeen feet on a rope. Wow. On a rope. Oh my god. Gosh. Around tree branches, OB everywhere. Look, it's one of those moments where you just black out and you throw. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Trust. But, yeah, you and just then, have to trust it. And then Missy following it up with like a, a crush, too. Yep. God. Dreams. This is in my dreams. Yep, Missy in putting range. I'm, I'm wow. just blown away right now with everyone I'm on our so lead like card. I'm so I'm like... Okay, so if you're Haley, are you running this? Yes. Like, okay, Haley doesn't lay up. She doesn't lay up, and Ella's in the bullseye right now with only one stroke. Well, but I she could Haley, push a playoff, though. That's true. I feel like Haley does know how to do safe runs. And our though. playoff holes, are they 16, 17, 18? Yep. 16. Okay. She's running it. Yep. Oh, oh you, sit, sit. Yeah, she wants that outright win. Yeah, she, she does. That is she, what is going through her head right now. She don't want to take second. Mm -mm. She doesn't want to play off either. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, the eagle. Oh. And that puts her tied, I think, for the moment. Yep. Wow. wow. Eagle at back-to-back days. God. Let's see. I mean, and hits two clutch putts in the last three holes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Haley, oh my god, that was like so. Oh my gosh, that was such a good putt. This is like Holland. This is very nervous right here. I mean, if I'm here, oh, okay. There we go. There's the hype. There's the hype. I'm flexing in the booth. I'm excited. <laughs> We've been waiting for Holland to flex on the there camera all day. Oh my gosh, we had one, two, three, four, five eagles today, Madison. No way. Yes, five eagles. And oh my God. Wow. And two of them on our lead car. Like, this is an absolute dream. And look, we got a playoff. We've got playoff. a playoff. Holland just dun, forced dun, a dun. playoff with an eagle. Ella, way to battle back. Big props. They left Chris and Tatar in the dust. Did we and know that was possible? I know. And Holland <laughs> is like, I came here to play today. I had two spit outs, but I'm about to eagle this hole and I'm about to. Oh, I deserve this. I deserve, I deserve this. this. So they go to hole 16. This is where Holland this has is... had some issues. Haley, we just watched her park it. Let's see what happens. This no win. This is a tough playoff hole, too. Get off that. Get off that. Get off that. Oh, my gosh. Go, go, go. Wow. <laughs> to just do it literally a couple minutes ago, to do it just now. Again. I can't. I can't believe it. Mm -mm. Nerves oh, are She looks so calm. Hey, Holland. Is she going? What do you think she's going here? Fairway, mid? Do you think she's trying to just like bust and hit the back wall? What's going on here? Yeah, she just wants to get on the island. Yeah. Holo. Oh, come on. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. Go, come on. Go, push. go, go. Push. Oh, my God. That is not what I... Mm, that's not what I expected at all. I thought that she had that. I just thought she was going to blast one Me too. The blast back wall. one, hit the back wall, make a putt. 
All right. She can throw it's it It's like in. I said, maybe she's timid to go fairway. She doesn't want to go too far past, so she's... Okay, she can make this. Come on. Over the geese. She tried. So do you think Haley lays this up or she make, like just makes it? <laughs> Probably just makes it. Because, I mean, if she misses, that's... <laughs> oh, and there we have it. She's freak. <laughs> wow, Haley King never, I mean, she's stayed in it the whole time. Is this a back to back, too? No, she, I think she had a playoff with Cat Merge, and then I think Cat took it. Okay. And then this will be her first one this year. This year. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Dynamic Disc Open champion, Haley. King! Haley King, now a two-time champion here. As you just said, dang, now I got two of these. How does that feel? It feels amazing. Happy Father's Day, Dad. You know, taking care of myself is really where this sport's at. If you want to be an athlete, you got to take care of yourself and decide what your boundaries are and don't pass those. I was so stressed all day long. I didn't even know I was into the playoff until they told me I was in the playoff. I thought I shot so bad, but I ended up fighting super good, so feels good. You're now two-time champion in dramatic fashion, Haley King. Wow, that was so To exciting. not even know that you're in the playoff, <laughs> to not even know that you're playing good is incredible. It's so interesting to see people in this scenario, in the battle for the lead, not checking scores. Yeah, like, like I just, feel like I would be, What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You know? Just sticking to her game plan. And I think that's why she's coming out on top right now. And I like how she said that she's like taking care of herself. And that's really showing here. Yep. Her mental game is stronger than ever. But let's talk about Holland Hanley, too. Uh, I yep. mean, the strongest mental game in the world that we have seen Holland so Two far. Two spit outs. And still getting to a and playoff. still getting to a playoff. An eagle. And to get to a playoff. Like, uh, the FEO is doing things I And she should be seen. so proud of her. So just put herself in there and show that her mental game has improved so much. She has been this kind of this ball before. Yep. And look at the cash line, 24. You have to be at least two over par. In the past, that would have got you top 10. So this yep. is the coolest ever. Um, not only are we seeing the rest of the field just light it on fire, like you guys just watched, the, the, whole, the whole round was incredible. It's unbelievable. I'm speechless. I... Thank you for letting me come here and watch this. <laughs> yeah. um, I know you guys enjoyed Macy as much as I did in the booth. Um, until next time, we got Des Moines Challenge next week. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Macy Bella Diaz, and we are Matt, Matt Diaz. Diaz.